Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rong Yang. Today, um, I will be presenting our work on uh, improving resource allocation strategy against human adversaries in security games. So I guess I will start with the, the motivation of this work, which is real-world uh, security problems. So uh, if you were uh, at the presentation given by one of my colleagues, uh, James Fear yesterday, uh, he talked about uh, one of the system guards which is deployed at national um, uh, airport. That's one uh, real deployed uh, example of security problem. So um, essentially in a security problem, um, the, the, the security forces are trying to um, protect the um, infrastructures uh, with very limited um, security resources. And the adversary, uh, at meanwhile, uh, um, conducting surveillance, try to learn the, the, the monitor defenses. And so it's very important for the defender to explain, uh, to avoid, um, it to, to be random in allocating the resources such that they won't, the adversaries won't exploit any patterns in their resource allocation. And our game theory um, provides a very nice framework to model the strategic interaction between the defender and uh, the adversary. Um, specifically, a stackable game where we have two types of players. Uh, we have the defender placed as a, a leader who acts first. And then we have the adversary placed as the other, play of, uh, the other type of player, uh, which is the, the follower, who will um, observe the leader's uh, strategy and then respond to it. So, um, and here is a simple example of uh, a security game where we have the defender placed as a role player and the adversary uh, as the uh, column player. The outcome of the game is going to be um, depending on um, which target is protected by the defender as well as which target is um, attacked by the adversary. So a uh, note here, uh, different target may carry different weights. Um, so maybe they, they might have different importance to the defender. And from the adversary's perspective, they might have different preference to different targets. So the numbers here are different. And uh, the, the game are not necessarily a zero-sum game. So, um, um, so uh, we, there have already been a lot of work um, done in applying game theory to solve real-world security problems. And uh, some of them ha have already been deployed uh, in real world. Here are some two examples. Armor is a, a software system which helps the um, police office at the LAX airport to set up the checkpoint uh, and the K9 patrol to protect the airport. And uh, I, uh, IRIS is another system um, which is in use of the uh, United States Federal Air Marshal Service. Um, this will help them to decide how are they going to assign the uh, marshals on siren of flights. And it has been using since 2009. So as we expand the use of game theory to um, um, real world security problems, one of the key challenges we're facing here comes from the fact that um, we're facing real human players in the game. So, um, like the traditional game theory makes a set of assumptions of the player. For example, it is assumed that players are completely rational. Um, they are risk neutral. They might um, they have complete information of the game. But in a real world security game, especially when humans are involved, those assumptions might not hold. So the question here is um, whether or not we can model human decision making more accurately in solving a security game, and whether or not we can exploit uh, the, the bias or preference in human decision making to improve the strategy uh, for the defender, to better allocate the security resources. So um, here are some related work in solving this question. Um, DOPS is the... Um, very, so it, it's the perfect rational baseline um, in computing defender strategy against adversaries. And uh, uh, it, it's actually the foundation of many deployed applications, including Armour and Iris. And the Cobra is, um, to the best of our knowledge, has the best uh, performance in uh, experiment with a human subject. It is trying to address uh, human behavior in security game by taking into consideration two factors. The first one is uh, the anchoring bias human may suffer when they are trying to interpret the probabilities. 
Um, and the second one is the bounded rationality of humans um, in computing the best response. So, um, in this paper, we are trying to in integrate human behavior uh, in security games by taking two approaches. The first one is to model human decision making uh, with prospect theory. And the second one is to uh, try to model their decision making as a control response. I will explain uh, both theories later on in details. And then based on these two models, we also developed efficient algorithms to uh, compute um, the defender's optimal strategy against the proposed model. Um, in order to evaluate the effectiveness of uh, the proposed models, we also conduct uh, experiment with human subject. And uh, in the experiment result, you will see that uh, the algorithm BRQR, which is designed based on the uh, QRE model, um, has out um, outperformed the, the leading contender. So um, the he, uh, here is the outline of the following of my talk. I will first um, discuss the algorithms we developed based on using prospect theory. And then I will um, explain the algorithm that we um, designed based on using QRE. And I will explain how we, do the, uh, how we did the experiment with human subject. And I will show you the results. So, okay. Uh, here is a <coughs> brief introduction to prospect theory. Um, prospect theory is actually a Nobel Prize winner. Um, it uh, has a very nice um, form for uh, modeling human decision making um, under uncertainty. So essentially, so um, prospect is defined for any action a player can take. Uh, it's uh, essentially a weighted summation over all possible outcomes if uh, the player takes a certain action. In the function here, we have a pi function and a v function. The pi function is called a weighting function. This function is used to modify how people actually um, interpreting the actual probability xi. And the v function is called the uh, value function. This function is used to, um, to modify uh, how people evaluate the outcomes. So um, there are many different forms uh, for the both functions. In this paper, uh, we uh, took the empirical function suggested by this work. Um, so for the interest of time, I will skip the details of the function. Um, here is, a, so assuming the adversary is going to respond uh, following prospect theory, the question for the defender is, uh, um, what is the optimal uh, strategy to allocate their resource? So in our case, we use uh, we formulate such problem as a mixed int integer linear program. The goal, the goal here is to uh, maximize the defender utility, and uh, so um, we incorporate the prospect theory in the constraints of the uh, mixed integer linear program formulation. So you notice in equation two, we uh, used a piecewise linear function to approximate the uh, weighting function. And uh, in equation four here, we have uh, computed the prospect of each uh, possible action the, the adversary uh, could possibly take. And then with this constraint four, um, the adversary is forced to select the action that will give them the maximized uh, prospect. So um, by solving this mixed integer linear program, we will get the optimal um, defender strategy. But uh, it is still possible that the adversary may deviate from uh, the optimal strategy based on using prospect theory. And uh, in, in COBRA, uh, they introduced a concept called um, epsilon bounded rationality to model such deviation. So we modified the RQR algorithm using a similar co concept. Um, that is to say that instead of uh, saying that the adversary is going just to pick the single one, uh, action that will give them the maximum prospect. We are saying that they probably will, will pick any possible action that is uh, that will lead to a prospect uh, within epsilon of the optimal value. And xj hj here is the um, epsilon bounded uh, response. And uh, in equation four, um, we will set hj to one, meaning that the adversary are going to attack any 
uh, attack, uh, uh, is going to attack any target that will lead to a, a prospect within epsilon of the optimal one. So that will give us a um, um, robust prospect theory. And also by solving this mixed integer linear program, we will have the defender's optimal strategy against uh, um, this model of uh, how the buster is going to respond. <coughs> so uh, 